everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivor and Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share guys, because sharing is caring and sharing Ivor and Spice is also caring. And today guys, hey, hey, boys, Burnley nil, Manchester United won. Yes, that's it, Burnley nil, Manchester United won, my G's. Hey, it's my Manchester United holics. Yes, Manchester United are top of the table. <laughs> can you smell that Liverpool fan? Can you smell that? Huh? Because before you can you can feel us breathing behind your neck, but now can you smell that? Yes, that's our fault. Because why? Because you're behind us. Yes, you smell that. You're behind us. You get me, bro, Liverpool fans. You're behind us. Yes, Manchester United are top of the table. You can smell our fart because you're just below us. You Liverpool scums. You scousers. You scouse scums. Ah, yes. Manchester United, top of the Premier League table for the longest time. Since God knows when. It's been years. I reckon the last time it was probably top of the table, maybe it was, was it Mourinho or Louis van Gaal's time. You know, because it's been so long. And Manchester United are top of the tables. And it's a beef one-on-one -on -one between Manchester United and Liverpool on a Sunday. Whew. On a Sabbath day, on a holy day, on a God's praying day, we are going to go one-on-one. -on -one. North England derby against those scouse scums, those scousers. Uh. Hey, Manchester United fans, what a brilliant day for us. What a great result for us. It has been hard times. You know where we have come from. We have come from the mud, the dirt, everything, you know? Everything, you know? Moments of losing our, our, our loved ones, you know? You know, there's times we was like, it should have been me, no! Because we went through it all as a Manchester United fans. And right now, we can enjoy our champs. You guys can enjoy your beers, your cocktails. Your champagne, as I said before, your Proseccos, you get me. If you want to be drinking the brandy, you know, the rums, get me, bruv. Turn it, turn it up, split. If you want to roll your ting, guys, light it up, light it up, light it up. Uh, spark up the ting, bruv. Just spark it up because enjoy it. Soak it in. We are top of the table because when Sunday comes, we don't know. We can be sent back to where we come from. But let's enjoy it for now, Manchester United Holics, bruv. United Alex, enjoy it. Enjoy it. And let's just go. Let, let, let me just go straight into that match against Burnley because the first 45 minutes was absolute trash. Of course, I felt sleepy at times during that watching that match. And so did you guys. Because at times I nodded off in that first 45 minutes. Although we did well with the ball, and there were moments where you just thought, oh, when is the goal coming? But you can feel it, you can sense it coming from Manchester United, especially when you're going to second off and everything just changed, you know? Everything changed. All of a sudden, Paul Labile Pogba was just feeling it. He was just getting more involved in the game, passing the ball, threading it, threading it, threading it. Bruno Fernandes involved saying, mm, I want some of that, Labile. La Pioche, you're doing things today. And then Bruno's like, eh, mon gars, me connais, mais moi, je suis pour pas, mais je joue pas, mais les, les, the medias, the medias, the English medias, uh, they, they, they are always criticizing me. Uh. Uh, I don't know Bruno, I don't know, since you come you took my lights, but still, still, still guys, you got me like, I don't know what Mark Trash was doing today, CPU, pew, down again, but apart from that guys, whew, whew, La Pioche comes and scores a goal, whew. <laughs> With my guy Paul Pogba, oh, scoring that crucial, crucial goal. All you English dick sucking, riding on everything that your whoever all got at the top tells you what to do. Yeah, you guys are paying to so a new, a new keyboard warriors, social media warriors, bro. All of you as well. Screw you, man's bro. Today, Paul Pogba put us top of the table, mon gars. Tu as vu mon gars, hey Paul Pogba, yeah, tu es trop fort, mais tu connais qui c'est toi, tu mon gars, mon frère. Tu... Laisse les, les chroniques de l'English Media, ils ne connaissent rien. Mon gars, mon gars, moi je te supporte, et je te supporte bien mon gars, mon gars Pogba. Oh, on est ensemble, Pogba tu as joué aujourd'hui. That guy played some football today, bro. he was instrumental. Scoring that goal for us, sending us top of the table, 
Three points clear off of Liverpool, finishing that match against Burnley. <laughs> Guys, Manchester United fans, soak it in, soak it in. We are top of the table right now, for now until the joy last, you know. Right now, I'm on a high. Tomorrow when I wake up here, yeah, it will all just make sense. I'll be like, wow, we were actually first. Top of the table, three points clear. When we play Liverpool, we'll see what I've got. You scouts, we're going to see what I've got come Sunday, innit? It's going to be peak. Guys, tune in Sunday. Manchester United, Liverpool. Peak, peak, peak. A, a serious bout. But, guys, I am super gassed. I am gassed, Manchester United fans. You know? Other thoughts of, of the match? What can you say? You, it's all about the points. Forget everything else. It's just really all about the points. Because today, all we need to do was just win. Even a draw would have sufficed. But I thought about that. Nah, we need to be three points clear off of Liverpool, guys. My man, a match. You, you, obviously, you know. You don't know. La Pioche. Paul Abile Pogba. La Pioche, man. Pioche did things today, man. Defending, intercepting plays. And also passing the ball. Just having most of the touches. Just He came, he came first in everything. La Pioche was just truly instrumental today. And what can we say? Thank you, Paul Pogba, for putting us on top of the table and shutting those haters' mouth. Don't care if the match has to go to Marcus Rashford. CPU crashed down again. Marcus Rashford today on the right wing was just horrendous. Terrible. Rashford, man. Your game intelligence. Seriously, bro. Last time I saw a picture of you on Instagram saying that uh a post like people of you reading a book and then people was putting memes like oh when your mom's on instagram in it but i swear you was trying to fool me that you read books and you're in intelligent but rashford bro i recommend you read some shakespeare it, it, it improves the level of creativity you know the thinking power especially it will help enable you to move those feet even more and in fact Use your mind and your head to, you know, stop creating more scenarios. I would also suggest taking art as well. Painting, you know, because then it allows you to picture and paint things and use your vision, your mind, creation. That will help you on the football pitch, my brother. You know, man loves you, yeah? Russian man loves you. I just want the best for you, bro. But sometimes, bro, you remind me of Nanny. Your hairstyle's like Nanny. You kind of look like Nanny. 92.0. I swear, did Nanny, did Nanny leave us a present behind? Well, anyway, Manchester United fans, Manchester United holics, bro, enjoy it. Enjoy it. You know, this has been your match reaction by Avril and Spice. You get me that? Remember, guys, to follow the social medias, of course, the account, follow the official Red United account, which is Red United TV One, baby, on Instagram. And also remember that you can follow me on Twitter, which is Ivor underscore Spy. Same thing for the Instagram. And also remember to subscribe, smash that like button as well, guys. And remember to comment below. Let me know who your donkey of the match was, who your man of the match was, what you thought of today's game. And as always, remember to share, remember to keep it united, and remember to keep it Red United. I'm out.